anytime you're fishing a jig, you're gonna have a trailer on the back of it. You never fish a jig just plain straight out of the pack. It does require adding a trailer to it. For me, I keep my selection pretty simple. I keep about four different size or style trailers. On a chunk, I will use a full size as well as a junior um, occasionally if I really want a small compact profile. But for me, I'm gonna go with these, these few different styles. And this, this first one, this is a swimming style chunk. This is a chunk that I'm always gonna use on my white jig. You know, this one here, just with the, it's a little bit more streamlined profile. Those legs flap really good as I'm swimming that jig along. So that for me is my swimming chunk all the time, pretty much. Whether that's in a white color, green pumpkin, black, whatever it may be. That swimming style chunk is what I'm gonna use when I'm swimming a jig. And that chunk right there, that happens to be the Bass Pro Swimming Elite chunk is what that particular one is. Then if I'm primarily skipping a jig, I'm going to go with something that's a little bit wider body, something that's more of a creature style bait. And what that does when you've got that rigged on a jig, I'm going to thread that up on the hook and I'm going to, I'm going to cut a little off, but then I'm going to thread it up on there. So that gives you a nice flat profile on the bottom of that jig. And it really just helps you skip it so much better because you've got that nice plane that you can lay on top of the water and it's going to slide out through there extremely good. So if I'm primarily skipping that jig, it's going to have this style trailer on the back of it. And this particular trailer is a Bass Pro Bullhog. It's got those little flappy legs on the back. They don't create a lot of drag, but it will allow you with that flat body to skip it way up under those docks. When I'm swimming a jig a lot and I don't want the crawfish kind of imitate them and I'm trying to imitate bait fish with it, I'm probably going to go with something like this. It's got a little bit of a boot tail on the back. Again, trim about, you know, an inch or so off of the front of that, thread it up on the shank of that pro's jig and that's going to be my boot tail. And that's primarily the deal where I'm casting it out, swimming it back, a lot of times in vegetation. Not so much boat docks with this style trailer. I'll probably be swimming the white jig there. But if it's a cast out, retrieve back, you know, grass, grass flats, you know, along the edges of reeds or whatever that may be, it's probably going to have this boot tail style trailer on the back of it. This particular one happens to be a Bass Pro Sassy Sally. That's the trailer that I use. This is the larger one. I will step down to the small one if those fish are feeding on really small bait fish or something, but that Bass Pro Sassy Sally makes a great swim jig trailer, especially in those darker colors like this green pumpkin watermelon. Then my final trailer, the one that I find myself using probably 60 to 70% of the time, is just a chunk. You know, I mean, anybody, when you started off fishing a jig, you probably used a chunk on it. And there's a couple different ways that you can rig that. One is threading it up on there. That's what I do a large portion of the time. But if I'm really wanting a big profile, and I would probably never fish this color combination, but if I'm wanting a big profile, I'm just gonna hang that chunk on the jig like that. And that way it gives you a really nice long profile. And a lot of times if I'm fishing a place with big fish in it, that's the way I'm gonna fish it. But if I'm just trying to get bites, it's probably gonna be threaded up on there, up on the shank of that hook, just like what I've got that rigged right there. But that chunk, I mean, just a good chunk. I mean, that imitates crawfish. You can swim it some, I catch fish like that as well, but it's a really, really great profile where that jig's falling down in the water column. It's sitting there on the bottom, coming through the water. That's a really great bait fish, crawfish imitating trailer to go on the back of a jig. This particular one is the Bass Pro Elite Chunk. This is the full size that also comes in a junior. So if you're wanting, again, a smaller package, you can really trim that skirt down on like the 3 8 Pro's jig thread that up on there, you're gonna have a nice, real small, compact, crawfish imitating jig trailer.